Okay, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get music from MySpace or um, another popular website, which is Django. The software that you're going to be using today is called Free Musiczilla. You can go and get uh, download in the link in the description. Um, one thing that you want to make sure on this program is that you want to go to Tools and Preferences and then go to Monitoring. Um, it pretty much has all the top used browsers, um, which IE and Firefox is selected by default. Or, and that's like one of the top two browsers. Um, if you're using Safari, you want to check that. But I'll go ahead and tell you that I've had personal problems out of Safari when it comes to detecting through Free Musiczilla. So if you have Internet Explorer or Firefox, I would recommend using one of those because it's it, just to me it seemed to be the best. Let's go ahead and open up our browser. And from our browser, let's go ahead and navigate to Django first, because I want to show you how to do this on Django, and then I'll show you how to do it on um, MySpace. When you get to Django.com, basically this is your personal radio, and you can click, uh, not click, pick songs from artists. Um, you can search for artists or the song title, whatever, whatever you want to do, you can search for it. Let's go ahead and just click one of my recent songs. Um, Take me for longing, Allison Krauss and Union Station. And when that pops up, it'll start playing the song. And as you can see, it pops up over here on your Free Musiczilla program. And as you notice, under a leech timeout, like this song has 156 right now. Um, I would not recommend downloading it um, at this point because it's going to be so crappy of quality. You have to do it before it gets to one like 170, 168 to get really good quality out of the song. Like. It's just important that you do that, so you got to be kind of quick with it. But other than that, you'll you'll get pretty decent quality out of uh, these songs from Django. Now let's go ahead and go to MySpace, and I'll show you how to get the songs from MySpace. Pretty much it's the same steps. All you got to do is just go to the profile of the artist that you're wanting to get the song from. Let's just click on hip hop since it's a top genre. And then once you go to the artist that you're wanting to get the song from it'll pop up over here. Two things will pop up. A silent mp3 and the actual mp3 itself. And I'll show you how to identify which one's which. Come on, don't freeze up. Come on. Okay. Um, now the song will start playing. And right here's the silent mp3. You do not want to download that one. That one's just crappy and pointless. You want to use the one that's got the MB in it, which is megabytes. Usually the biggest size is a song and the smallest is the MP3. And again, you want to try to get that before it gets to like 160 or else it would be crappy quality. And pretty much that's it and on how to using the Free Music Zilla software and how to get your songs from um, MySpace or Django. Alright, thanks for watching.